Hello Earth Signs, this is your Love Insight for June 2017. I'm going to lay three cards at the top for the past, three in the middle for the present, and three at the bottom for your future when it comes to your love life. I have not separated single and couple, so apply the energy how you can. Keep a need. There's a need to keep an open mind about who your soulmate is, because they're going to differ from what you might normally have. So if you have a type, they're not going to fit the type. Yeah, and you can miss out on someone who's the one. Okay. So somebody who's fitting your type isn't actually the one. If that's in your, if you're in a relationship, uh, yeah. If you're dating and there's someone you're interested in. It looks like they're not the one. You need to keep your eyes open. Like, keep your mind open because this person's not it. Watch for any kind of signs because be on the lookout for someone else. They could still fit your type, but I think you're just needing to be on the lookout that the person that you're with or you're thinking about isn't actually for you. Single or relationships. All right, so in the past... You decided it was safe for you to love and get out there and date. But you weren't optimistic. <laughs> um, and the situation required you to put some trust. And I think you did. Like It was safe for you to love. The situation required you to trust. But it's almost as if you couldn't for some reason. Deception. So somebody may have deceived you before, or you were just so afraid of deception. But it says it was safe for you to love. So I'm thinking they weren't really being deceiving. You were just scared of it because maybe it had happened even further in the past. Let's look at your present. Or perhaps you were deceptive, and so you were you weren't able to trust because you... Or seeing your own energy in someone else. Alright. So you aren't loving yourself first right now. You aren't paying attention to the red flags, which I told you, you know, pay attention to those signs, because whomever you're thinking about, whomever you're with, is not the one. You need to keep your eye open for someone else. I'm seeing make the effort to see to see those red flags that you're not paying attention to. I'm seeing like basically open your eyes. The deception could be um, current as well. It could be you thought it was safe to love, but you weren't optimistic. You trusted and somebody deceived you. Um, but you stayed because you weren't really thinking of yourself. You didn't see it coming, or you don't see it coming. I'm seeing great love is worth taking the steps to make the effort. But I'm seeing just somebody's not exploring their romantic feelings. Okay, so in the future, again, I'm seeing like this person's not the one, they're not your soulmate. But it's like you're staying with them. Because I see you're not seeing the red flags. You're not loving yourself. It's like you've settled for somebody who's deceiving you. And you're not exploring other romantic feelings for other people. I'm seeing that you're thinking, okay, you know, I love this person. I'm going to make it work. But, I mean, the cards just are saying don't. Yeah. Yeah. If you're single, this person's married. And some of you, you're actually married in a relationship. And that's in the future, though. So you may marry somebody. Um, some of you I'm seeing, you were scared about being deceived, but you weren't. But you weren't loving yourself. You weren't paying attention to red flags. 
It could be about your own depression. Some of you actually may have been the deceivers and that somebody else wasn't paying attention to what you were doing. But you both made the effort to be together. You didn't reveal the romantic feelings you had for someone else. And you, I think you also may have ended an affair. Or, you know, someone else may have. But I'm seeing they're not your soulmate. Okay. Um, you're sticking together, possibly getting married. Why would you marry somebody that you know is not your soulmate? I'm wondering if there was something in your past that was something traumatic. And you feel like, oh, okay, this person's safe. I can love them because there's nothing out there for me in regards to the dating world and love. So I'm going to trust this person um, because I've been deceived before but you're not really caring about your own needs. You're not realizing that, you know, this is a mistake. You're making the effort to be with someone who's not your soulmate. And you don't have any romantic feelings for them. So some of you are marrying somebody who's like your brother or your sister. Not literally, but just figuratively. Somebody who's not your soulmate. Some of you are just marrying somebody who's deceiving or you're getting married despite deceiving someone. Yeah. You guys are going to go on a honeymoon and everything. <laughs> You're following through with it. They're not the one. You're supposed to keep an open mind. Now, there's one other scenario that I'm seeing. Some of you may have had an affair, or your partner did. And, you know, somebody didn't know about it. And I think they still don't know about it. But you ended it because the person you were having the affair with or they were having the affair with was not their soulmate. And they decided not to separate after this affair. And you got married and had a honeymoon. Or because you're married and, like, you're going on a second honeymoon. And so the person that you were, that was having the affair, that person was not the one. But... I'm seeing to keep an open mind about who is the one. But the person that was having the affair is not the one. But it's almost as if you guys are marrying somebody that is not your soulmate. Yeah, I don't think you even asked your friend's advice or anything. You just did it. Or you will be. But this is in the future, guys. So I'm seeing you can probably put a stop to this now. It seems like your finances and your career are in good shape, so you can be independent. You don't need this person. Yeah, I mean, I see no chemistry here. And then I'm seeing other people ended an affair, so there's two things here. Well, guys, I, um, I hope you got some clarity. Oh, I do see here that we have unrequited love in reverse. So it's as if you've given up on a love that wasn't returned to you. And also I think whoever is marrying somebody that's not their soulmate or they're not attracted to, this other person doesn't know that. They don't know their love's not returned in that way. So you need to like let them know is what I'm seeing here. Because they're coming in as if you're romantic. They're coming in like, like a honeymoon, like a husband and wife. And if you look, she's looking at him like he has no idea. Or vice versa. He's like, what have I got myself into? And she's all in love. But one or both of them, you know, depending on who you are in the situation, doesn't feel the same way as the other one. And the other person has no idea what's going on. They think you're in love. And you're not. And some of you just aren't getting a love that was unrequited. And I think they're saying there's still hope for some of you out there. <clears throat> to be with somebody 
who is the one or your soulmate. So I hope that was clear for you, Earth Signs, and good luck.